What's up everybody, WAC4863 in the place to be, and today I bring you Raw, Realms of Ancient War. Now this is a hack and slash RPG, and it offers you three different characters that you can play as. You can play as a rogue, you can play as a sorcerer, or you can play as a warrior. I personally chose to play as a warrior, and the reason being is because he actually had dual wielded weapons and red stripes over his body. So it reminded me like of Kratos, and I just wanted to see what it was all about. So let's jump right into the style of the game. So it's an overhead RPG style of hack and slash game. Now there's three different worlds that you go to uh, and you start off at different ones depending on the player that you pick now the fighting style is very singular it stays the same throughout the entire game you've got three buttons that you use to fight in the game and two of those buttons regularly have to reload they have to uh, re-up so that you can use them again so you're stuck with really one attack that you can do over and over and over again and that attack doesn't change unfortunately the leveling up doesn't make the game seem any different you're gonna consistently see the exact same attack pattern and feel like you're doing the exact same thing throughout the entire game now they did a good job with the graphics of the map and how detailed it was the colors that they added everything like that however you never get up close and personal with your character which i thought was a problem because you really didn't get to know your character you didn't feel like you had that connection now the idea behind the game is that you're somebody that is living in a land that was ravaged by war 10 years or so ago and it really has just been beaten to death you can still see the signs of all the war that's gone on and now there's a new enemy that's come to challenge the ownership of these different lands and so you're going into a whole new war all over again before anything's even settled down or recovered now this game is on Xbox Live Arcade, PlayStation Network, or a digital based PC download. Now something cool that you'll see right here is that you actually have the ability to take over other enemies bodies and you can do this throughout the game in different places. Unfortunately it really doesn't uh, make a difference because you're still stuck with this single button attack when you're in those bodies and it doesn't happen often enough to really change the fighting style unfortunately you're gonna find that even the leveling up is a singular style of leveling up you are not going to find anything that really gives you that idea of wow I'm doing a great job I'm really enjoying this um, now as far as difficulty goes, what they did was they made it so that there was massive amounts of enemies coming at you all the time. But even in the boss fights, you find that the bosses are slow, so slow that it really doesn't give you that excitement of being in a boss battle. So I didn't find this game to be really, really great. Although if you're into an RPG hack and slash style of game on the arcade, uh, something you can download and just play through, it does offer about 12 hours of gameplay and, and it's got a neat little story behind it. All in all, I give this game a five out of 10. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have and you have a like in your pocket, please pull it out and whack the like button. Peace.